What's up YouTube, it's MC John, and today as you can see I'm in the spider's nest. Now, you're probably wondering, why are you in the spider's nest? No one's ever in the spider's nest. Or you're probably not wondering, because I'm late to making this video. Well, there was a new update with lots of things, so... Um... First thing you're gonna notice as soon as you walk here is... The whole main area that used to be has been moved over to the right. With these mobs or whatever. They also revamped um, the gravel caves, if you look in here, um, Pat has been moved, no, Rick, who is Pat's brother, um, and yeah, so they changed it, it's much nicer now, and they added a bunch of new items, which I'll look at later, and as you can see, they moved the Blazing Fortress portal, which kind of removes the whole hard thing of getting up there. But it doesn't really matter since um, everyone uses slash PRTL. Alright, next thing you're going to notice is this big hut over here on top of a hill. If if you don't have an AFT, you'll have to parkour. You're going to want to talk to this guy. And, and, and then th th you're going to go up here, talk to this guy. And then you're going to talk to this grandma, who will upgrade your, who will give you a grandma wolf pet, if you'll see here. Um, oops. Yeah, this is, mine is legendary because of my bestiary milestones. Bestiary is all different kind of mobs you kill. And anyways, if you've been playing for a while, as you can see, it has this cool thing called kill combo, which adds magic fine and coins per, like, a few kills, every few kills. And this actually applies even when you don't have a pet active, so I think it's kind of stupid that you just add a combo system, since everyone's going to have this. Anyways, if you're just joining, you'll probably have noticed you got a lot of combat XP, but also, you have probably way more bestiary milestones than you need for, uh level um mean for a legendary grandma so what we're gonna want to do is go down here talk to this guy and then shaggy who apparently is only using two percent of his power um and then you're gonna talk to this person then she'll upgrade it to uncommon and then you could do this do the same thing again for uh, uh epic for rare epic and then legendary um unless obviously you don't have the bestiary milestones another thing is relics so what you're gonna want to do is go right over here near the end portal and talk to this guy he you're gonna have to listen to his whole um to his whole speech or whatever and then you'll be able to claim relics for 10,000 coins um i mean that's not a lot for most players but i i have a i started an iron man profile and that was like a really good way to get coins um Anyways, I got a mod called the Relic Waypoints, so that's what you see this is, and it will just show you. So there's one behind this dragon head. I'm not going to list all of them. You should just download chat triggers. You know how to download mods, probably, and then do slash ct import relic way points, and then you could do relic slash relic waypoints one, and then slash relic waypoints two, etc., and that will show you all the different relics. Alright, another thing you're going to notice is this cave over here. This is similar to both the crypts or the, the howling cave or whatever. It's basically a way to do spider slayers with higher level mobs. So you don't have to kill like 5,000 spiders. You see they have much higher health. Um, much higher health than the spiders in that big area. And they all... Um, hum, Oh, cool, got a new bestiary milestone, but yeah, they they will give much more combat XP, etc. So that's pretty good for slayers or whatever. Um, The next thing is you're going to go down here, and by the way, there's a, a relic in here, as you can see. It's, it's They're kind of like fairy souls, and someone has already summoned the boss, which is going to put us big cobweb thing but since i already have like 371 speed i can just walk through it and here we have the new boss arachne who you summon by placing four of these keeper frags 
which you get from randomly from you basically it's kind of like special zealots when you kill a spider there's a chance of spawning a keeper an arachne's keeper mob and they are actually hard to fight and they will drop a keeper frag which is worth what 78,000 coins pretty much nothing it's not like summoning eyes and that is because it doesn't matter how many eyes, how many frags you place you will get the same loot as anyone else it's based solely on damage so as you see there's this pedestal here um you're gonna place one keeper frag in all four of these and if you place an arachne's crystal not to be confused with an arachne fragment which is something dropped from arachne this i don't know how you get this but you're gonna place that in the center and that's gonna call forth arachne's true form which is very powerful and this is the loot circle right here she's just this spider thingy that um that will summon like a million tiny spiders called Arachne's brood and she will affect you with venom which will like destroy almost all your health no matter how good you, uh, health you are uh, I'm at least for me and I can like I have pretty good health I don't know um if you're wondering where my flower of truth is I, I got scammed for it I just managed to save up for this new um shadow assassin helmet which i overpaid for but it was already pre-maxed and i didn't want to go through the whole thing i'm maxing it out again and another thing the loot circle is broken so that if arachne dies to a wall half her loot circle will spawn above ground which didn't happen in this case because she didn't die next to a wall but yeah that's that's it's a little weird and all right they're summoning arachne again but Next thing is there's new items, so if we go to the main one, there's three bows, there's the, I don't know what one, of, hold on a second, you go to recipe book, combat recipes, you should see three new bows, it, it's not six, spider queen singer, this one's absolutely terrible. It has like an aura around it that deals damage. I, I don't know what that means. It, it's pretty bad. Um, this They all can be like frag kind of with some dark oak wood and this thing that drops from arachne and a bunch of soul string or whatever. And that's have those have a the same rarity actually. Interestingly enough, usually fragging something will level up its rarity. But in this case it doesn't. But it just ups its uh, damage by a lot, quite a lot. And this is the most powerful one, the Venom's Touch. And we're and by the way, these bows, when you upgrade them, they do not keep any enchants or hot potato books or recoms or whatever. So you're definitely going to want to do that after you frag it. Um, this one can be fragged with spider eyes and two of those, yeah. Anyways, this is super powerful because... People can one-shot dragons with it. I don't know how or why, but they do. This one is interesting. It's kind of like an ice spray wand. But mobs don't take damage individually. They, do, like, they don't take any damage for a few seconds, and then they take all of it at once. This is really good for mobs that regen, like angry archaeologists or... Um, I don't know. So, yeah. Those are the bows now. Maybe if I can find a dragon... Now, so nowadays, if you'll see people doing dragons, you'll probably see them one-shotting it. Um, I mean, I probably won't be able to find anything like that, so... Yeah, I think we could just... We should go fight Arachne now. Since... Yeah, now, though, they're, like, summoning Arachne every three seconds, so... What you may want to do is... Save up a ton of stuff, because it's probably gonna be, like, dragons where people stop doing that every three seconds you know so yeah um there's so many spiders as you can see they're like they have very high health not as high as zealots but pretty high and if we go here you'll see there's should be the loot circle once the loot circle disappears they'll probably summon arachne and that i would want to fight so yeah, I'm just gonna do this right now. Um, there you go. Okay, anyways.
Yeah, people, some people are making some money from whatever new stuff. There's also Soul String, which is a rare drop from Arachne, and a bunch of other things, and those all sell for a bit of money, not not a lot. It's, it's all like less high tier than dragons, although even with dragons, you won't be making any money unless it's like superior. Um, how much are these Arachne crystals? Yeah, none of this is worth a lot. Which, um, kind of sucks. It, it was worth so much right when the update started, but not anymore. And the Arachne doesn't take magic damage, so she can't be one tapped by Hyperion spammers, which is like. It's actually really annoying to fight, um, and she like infects you with poison. I'll just. All right, there's all right. They're summoning Arachne right now. As you can see, it's like a black sphere or whatever. And since he placed a crystal in the middle, that means it'll be the tier two form of Arachne, which is like a thousand times more powerful. Um. Yeah, I, I did like a ton of damage and got no loot last time. Although, I might have just teleported to the surface. I don't know. Let's just let this load up. Oh, oh, there she is. You have a, a chat triggers mod to show her hitbox. Otherwise, she's like super annoying to fight. <gasps> there she is. Yeah, the, the fight takes like way longer than dragons. Because no Hyperion spam. Spam, 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 click, spam, click, spam, click. It's one thing good about Livid Dagger is the 100% attack speed, although there's other ways to get it. Yeah, she's like really annoying. You can't even see her. And she summons webs everywhere. They really better add like a web speed enchantment, like Depth Strider. That could be like a really cool Slayer drop or something. Or maybe an Arachne drop. And then she spawns these Arachne brood, tiny spiders or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so th that's pretty much the, the gist of it. I, w I wanna see if I can find a dragon lobby. By the way, I should mention, summoning eye prices have gone up a ton because of this whole one-shotting dragons thing, if you look. They're up to 726,689 coins for a summoning eye, which is kind of insane. Also, iron went up a lot because of the new personal deleter thing. If you look up here, 13 to 17, it, used, it, it, it was like up to 60 before I lost a ton of money by investing in it. Enchanted iron is actually a blast. Let me look if you'll go into... Collection mining iron. You'll see here personal deleter, which is crafted, an enchanted redstone block, an enchanted lava bucket, which is interesting, and tons of enchanted iron. Yeah, there's just so much enchanted iron here, and this is the highest form of it. Now, My mic was, was up. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but what I was saying is what people would do is they would put a Hyperion into the personal deleter and delete other people's Hyperions with it. Or they would put, like, I don't know, whatever valuable stuff. So, yeah, the, it was pretty crazy, and people had to... They, I think they patched, I'm not sure. I still have my player drops off, actually. So, uh, I set it to Supreme, because, you know, I'll be fine with picking up Supreme items. That how do I... There you go. Anyways, oh, that's why I wasn't able to pick up player drops. Uh, well, yeah. Did you know, it's actually a really easy way to get Supreme items. Like, 
it's it's with enchanted books. If I'll go in, yeah. You look here. This is actually supreme. I, I actually, I actually have that on my boots. If you look here, no wait, that's the. I mean on my magma bow, and infinite cover ten means it doesn't use arrows at all, which is pretty cool. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. I was trying to find the dragon lobby, but looks like that's not gonna happen. Please subscribe to MC John. Hit the notifications button, the like button, all the other buttons, cause I I'm invisible. Oh yeah, shadow assassin armor. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, the invisibility is kind of useless though, especially since I play as a tank, and that is the opposite of what I want. And you're wondering who on earth plays it as a tank? It's just because um I run F2, cause, uh, and well now I'm running F1s because of the collection rewards, but whatever.